guys what's up today we are going to learn how to make this awesome awesome aerial view site plan only in photoshop so what we're going to do first is import the site plan from sketchup then we are going to add the vegetation texture then we are going to add the water texture then we're going to add the trees and the road textures and then in the end we're going to make the adjustment so stay tuned and get to it okay so remember this file uh, can be downloaded in the link in the description so what does this file have are the raw files the PSD file with all the layers separated uh, cloud brushes the, pl the cloud brushes that we're going to do and and yeah that's about it and and all the raw textures used for this image so what we're going to do is import the the file into the uh, into into a new photoshop file and we're going to import all the grass textures that you guys have so if you don't download this file you can also go to textures.com or go to Google and search grass texture and you're going to find different grass textures so what is the idea here the idea here is to import different kinds of grass textures and we're going to merge them and collage them so they can look like a you know like an aerial image so you, you can also go to Google Earth and you know get an image from there but I just wanted to do it more manually so you guys can see how it's done so uh, yeah basically what we have to do is uh, import each of these textures you can uh, put them in a new layer so they can uh, be separated and you know name the layer uh, grass and what we're going to do is turn on these layers and start scaling them and putting them where we think it's it's, it's better so what you have to see the important thing is that these grass textures don't have too much contrast it means that it doesn't have to have like too much difference between the black and the whites it just has to be like more or less the same as you guys see in this image for example that one right there has too much contrast so i'm going to delete it and yeah just just vary the textures and put them all there it's not going to cover everything is not going to be grass we're going to erase it later but right now we just make want to make a clean canvas so we can have a good grass right and we're going to place press uh, place an image of a forest also there uh, so we're going to just put this everywhere and then the important thing is that we're going to erase the borders between each image each image and we're going to do this with the clone stamp brush tool so but what you can do here is merge the layers and put them in a, in a new layer so you can merge them you can save the other ones if you want future modifications i won't save it because it just uh, makes the file so much heavier um, so i'm just going to erase uh, the original files and just merge merge this uh, you can you can just press control shift to select all of them and uh, and that's it and do control j to duplicate it right so what we're going to do is select the clone stamp tool with s and we are going to uh, select an area you can select it with alt in the center of each, each texture and paint it in the borders right so you can do it with different textures like how i'm doing it right now what this means is that you're going to erase some parts but you're also going to put some grass parts in another way, on other places, and it's just going to merge it. Right now, it's going to look kind of weird because you know we know that there are different images and they come from different uh, sources of grass. But here, we're going to press an adjustment layer, hue saturation, colorize it, and just adjust the colors so it can look good. If you don't understand, like know what colors to use, you can go to Google and search for grass texture import the texture and have a reference of what the color you want it to be so here i imported a, a reference texture of an uh, of a grass and with that i you know turn down the 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 hue the hue a little bit the saturation and the lightness and um 
also applied a brightness and contrast mask because it, like in, in, in the trees section I wasn't too convinced and with a B for brush tool uh, you can like erase a little bit of the parts that the, the, the forest was selected so it doesn't have too much of a monochromatic color but it looks kind of mixed which is more or less what, the, what a forest looks like and yeah just you have to just try and just see reference images that's that's the way you're going to learn it's not going to be you know any place else what we're going to do now is select every place that has grass right so to do this you can also when you're exporting from sketchup you can export a top view image <clears throat> with um with just the color i mean i exported it with only lines but you can support it with colors too so you can have a a, a better selection of the of each each texture and uh, you can put it, put it in a faster way right so what i'm going to do is import that image import that image and align it to the the other image and you what you see here is that the image is not um like you know like the image is smaller like the, the whole 3d model is smaller than the, our canvas so we're going to select later but you can select the green parts with selecting the, the, the color wand and selecting color range and selecting only the green parts then you stand on the vegetation folder and click the mask and you see only the the mask is going to be selected which is which is which is cool um, now what we're going to do is erase the borders so with a B for with a B, uh, the brush tool on white you're going to paint everything else right you know some 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 parts are going to be full of water too but for now we're just going to press you know paint everything that is not the project or that isn't water or that aren't roads on on the canvas and you know you have to have 100 percent opacity and just make sure you don't have any like white lines left over because it's going to notice later but you guys can already see how the grass texture almost looks you know like very uniform now we're going to do the whole same process but with water so you guys see here i imported a water texture which, which is also included in the download package and what we're going to do is uh, place place a mask over this water texture and put just erase everything that doesn't have water okay so what we're going to do is um, with a beat with a brush tool we are going to um, color everything that is not water and we're going to copy it and select and create a style of an ocean so we're going to do this like in a very choppy way but you know you can do it better <laughs> okay so don't worry so much about the borders because everything is going to be you know kind of mixed so we're just going to copy and paste these water layers rotate them scale them up scale them down and also you want to group them group them in a in a folder so it doesn't mix up with anything else and maybe color it blue okay so you guys see here we're starting to have our ocean with little islands you can also merge these layers and erase the, the ones that you're not going to use if you think you're going to modify them later then don't erase them now we're going to select with the color range just as we did with the forest the parts that are going to have an ocean right and just because i don't think i think the the, the all these lakes are a little bit bigger with a brush tool we're going to paint them in and we're going to color the mask um yeah this is a pretty simple and basic process and later remember you guys can download this file uh, with all the textures we used with a 3d model in sketchup and um with the brushes we're going to about to be using uh in the link in the description remember also also to follow us on instagram and Facebook where we're going to be showing um, sneak previews of the, of the videos sometimes we ask you guys what videos you want so these video these videos are um, sometimes requests so if you want to place a request 
go to Instagram, follow us, and uh, comment, send us a direct message, and we're, we will do the video. So here we were, we are finishing placing the water. Just we want it to be very clean. Also because you know, like islands are very choppy. So with 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 a with a different brush, you may want to paint it in or out so it doesn't look that perfect. Also, if you want, you were going to do I don't know, like a beach or something, you can also place place a sand texture and do the same procedure, right? So it's just placing different textures, merging them all together so it can look good in a big scale. So after we place the green texture, the grass texture, and we place the uh, water texture, what we're going to do is um, select the roads, right? So for the roads, it was a very long process because they weren't in a, in a all, of, all, of them, all of them in the same color. So um, I already have them selected, so I'm just going to import them, but it's just the same thing, selecting them. You can uh, place a road texture, road texture, or you can just color them in a dark gray if it's not going to be that detailed, right? So here I just imported the, the road texture, which is, you know, it's pretty basic. Uh, it doesn't have that much stuff. Now we are going to uh, place a grass texture, right? So for the, I mean, a, a tree texture. So for the trees, it's also in the package. Just import the tree. I like this tree because it have, has a lot of contrast. Also, it has a shadow if you want to use that shadow. Or you can also create your own shadow. So this is, here we're going to decide where the sun comes from. So here I'm, I decided it's going to come from the right. So all, all the shadows are going to be towards the left, right? So you can uh, erase this, erase everything but the tree, or you can have the shadow as well. It's your preference. Everything but the tree, and um, color in that same layer the shadow with a soft black brush on 10% opacity. And once you color it, what you can do is, uh, plus pressing Alt, you can click and copy each layer. The bad thing is that it's going to be very heavy because you're going to have a lot of layers because there are a lot of trees. So what you can do is control click on the square of the layer and and then you can press Alt and copy. So it's going to copy it, but inside of the layer, not outside. So since I already have these trees, it's just copying them. I will import them, but it's I used the same tree for the whole project. And you guys can see here when you when you cluster them up, it looks like a forest. And when you separate them, it just looks good because the shadow just brings it brings it alive. I'm sorry if you guys hear any 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 cars or anything. Like I live a uh, near near like a main highway, so it's just a little bit noisy sometimes. But hope it doesn't bother you guys. And so yeah, you can just copy all of these trees. Um, this may take a little while, but it's definitely worth it. I'm going to import the trees because um, I already had them. And I already had them in a smaller canvas. So you can always select the C tool and crop the canvas. If it's too big or if it's too small, you can make it bigger. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is apply an adjustment layer to the vegetation, to the water, to the trees. So it just you know brings it to life, right? So once you stand on top of the folder, you're going to go to adjustment layers, brightness and contrast, lower the brightness, um, put higher contrast, and press control I. And then you're going to start painting the shadowy parts of the vegetation, which is what you guys are seeing right now. And it's not going to be everywhere, it's just going to be everywhere that the sun is not going to be as intense. It's going to, be ha it's going to have more shadows. Then you're going to do the same thing for the water texture. So you go to the water texture, press brightness and contrast, apply the layer to, to, to the folder, uh, press Control I and make the, the darker parts of the water. So these are the parts that are going to have the shadow of the island. Uh, maybe the deeper the water, the 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 you know the darker it's going to be. So you may want to paint that. It just gives it a very realistic effect. And you're going to do the same for the trees. 
where you're going to paint it. Uh, some of the shadows because you know some of these trees are going to be on a hill and some of these are going to be more visible and some of them aren't. Uh, now we're going to want to apply shadows to the houses. To the, to the houses you can also, if you, if you have them rendered, if you have them uh, you know with more detail, it's also valid. Here I have them all white because that's the style I went for but you know you can also choose different styles and we're going to select everything but the houses and we're going to start painting black like the, the shadow that the houses, the houses are going to have. Um, I already have these shadows in the main image, so I'm not going to do them, but it's basically the same process as the trees. And now we're going to uh, do the clouds, which is also a great process. It just gives it oof, a lot of depth. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is um, select the brush tool. You can select one of these default brushes it can sometimes act as a cloud but it sometimes it just looks in a very low quality so I'm going to use the brushes I have for um, for clouds you can find these brushes um, in the package down below if you guys want to download the file the, the, the link is in the description and you guys can see the difference of the clouds is so much higher resolution and what you want to do is paint the clouds white in a new layer and you don't want to paint them on top of the project. You just want to do it around so that the, the, the whole attention is centered and it's not going anywhere else. And you may want to do one of these brushes in 10% opacity, 100%, and just vary them. You know, like if in a kind of cloudy day, you can also do the shadows of the clouds. It's, you know, it's you can just look for aerial images. You can, I also change the color of the trees. So you go, you can, you can, you can go to the tree folder press hue saturation, apply it to the folder and change the hue. And then you, for the final adjustments we can uh, you know just brighten the con contrast, brightness, um, a little bit of highlight with a white brush in, uh, in an overlay mode to the clouds and it's just going to give it a lot a lot of strength. And well that's it guys I hope you guys liked this tutorial hope you guys liked it. Remember to subscribe, share the video with your friends. It really, really helps us make more videos. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram and on Facebook to see more of the updates on the videos we're doing. And if you want to request a video, you can also go to Instagram and we will be uh, posting for it there. Thank you guys so much. Uh, keep watching our videos. Let's keep building this big, big community. Thank you so much.